In the previous video, we showed you what Sharia law would do uh, if we have it in the USA. Uh, you know, allowed in slavery, beating women, uh, a Muslim, he can kill a Muslim, and there's no punishment for him. Uh, so, when somebody speaks about Sharia law, by the way, it's impossible to practice in here. Uh, but the Muslims trying to put that law not as the way it is, you know, they are trying to uh, insert it slowly, slowly into the system. Uh, but now we will listen to this smart uh, genius Muslim. Uh, what is the excuse for us who should not support uh, this uh, vote in here against Sharia law? What, what, what that uh, law is going to do? This year are as following. That first, this bill bans judicial consideration of any body of law from outside of the United States. That it will severely disrupt the use of various religious laws and foreign laws that are being used for legitimate purposes within the state of Missouri. Uh, first of all, I don't understand. Uh, when a Muslim tried to fool us uh, uh, by contradicting himself, because after two seconds from now he will say, uh, anyway, there's no uh, there's no Sharia law in USA is practice. But but he's saying that this is will disturb uh, uh, religious law. So what what law you are talking about? We don't have Catholic law in USA. What a liar you are! We don't have Sikh law. We don't have Jewish law in USA. So they are fabricating stories to make you believe. Oh, this law is going to, uh, uh, you know, to stop you from having your freedom. We don't have such a law. If I want to go to divorce, I go to the court of USA, not to the church. Don't you know that? The only thing I can do, I marry in the church, huh? but still they have to give me a license from the government to marry, which means the marry in the church is not really a big deal for the government. It is you registering that paper that you did marry, and you are legal to marry, which means you are single. So still you have to follow the law, the law of the state, not the law of the church. If a church divorced me in USA, and the law, did, uh, the court did not, I'm still not divorced. So what are you talking about? You see how they try to fool you and fabricate things? Continue, Abdul. Let us laugh. Under this bill, contractual use of religious law, whether it's Jewish law, or Muslim Jewish law, law. Or Christian law, or Catholic law, <laughs> Hindu law, or Sikh law. What Hindu law? What are those guys talking about? <laughs> whatever there is, that those laws or any other religious groups could not be enforced within the state of Missouri. Can we enforce Christian law in, in, in Saudi Arabia? No. Can we enforce uh, a Christian law in Pakistan? No. Uh, in Indonesia? No. Uh, in Egypt? No. And uh, so. What's wrong with Muslims? Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Continue, Abdul. That the validity of marriages, wills, and other contracts between, uh, between based on religion. You liar. All of those things have to do, have to be done by the law, not by a person or two individuals together. All those things you are saying have to do, to do, have to be done by the government. So you are mixing things and it's not a true. You are a false person. Law could be jeopardized. Mm -hmm, and jeopardized. That these laws are unnecessary. Where in the where in? He just said it's unnecessary. He said Sharia Allah is not necessarily. So why you are afraid from having such an uh, uh, forbidden? They, they don't want this to be in USA. If you are if you are agreeing, you liar. That Sharia Allah is not necessarily. Listen, listen carefully. Listen. And that these laws are unnecessary. <laughs> Where in, the, where in America is Sharia law being implemented by the court? And you find so, as long you admit it and you agree that Sharia Allah is not necessarily. So, what's your problem, Abdul? What's, what's the problem? The problem is, you are trying to fool people saying, oh, we don't have it anyway. So, what, is you, what are you worried about? I challenge you to say that Sharia Allah is not necessarily in Islamic country, I challenge you to say that it's not, it's useless. What, what do you mean? What, 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 I, I, want, I want KR to explain, I challenge them to explain to me what he mean by saying that Sharia Allah is not necessarily. So what the problem? You are losing nothing anyway. As long as you are saying nobody practice it, Muslims don't follow it. So what's your problem? 
and as you say you admitted that this is not against sharia law it's against any foreign law is going to come so how come you understand this is against against islam alone ah because you have a nail in somewhere huh? when you sit in the chair you feel it so then you understand this is must be about islam because you know who you are you know that you are the target for you know that you are guilty with lies and deception so imagine they are saying to us it is not necessarily but islam is a is a is needed islam is a great religion but he just still told us that all the law of allah is not necessarily people they can live with it and they do not need it and he just admit that but the purpose of saying that as we showed you in the video before muslims are allowed to lie as chapter 3 verse 28 they take they can even take an oath so he's trying to make you believe that we don't care really for Sharia Allah. We are not, don't worry about it. Don't let those people do this. Don't make them forbid us because they want to implement their propaganda slowly in our system. Today we have a, a Muslim day. Tomorrow they will have holiday. The day after they will have one day or not even 1% in the nation. Not, not 2%, not 3%, not even 1%. Imagine. The 1%, they want to enforce the 99% with their propaganda and their agenda. So what else, Abdul? Let, let us see how smart, intelligent you are. Nowhere. Rather, the authors of this type of movement use one case here and there, and then they overblow and exaggerate it. And they, you know, push it on the people that says Sharia law is creeping within the United States. And the man behind that phrase, creeping Sharia, is also David Yershmi. But yet, these laws are unnecessary. Is... They are not necessary. He repeated it again. He repeated it again. I challenge Muslims to support this uh, thing then because you just admitted that it's not necessarily. You Muslims should support it then. They are making the 99% of America equal to you the one percent so what the what, what are what is your fear if you if it's not necessarily liars a muslim saying sharia allah is not necessarily you believe it it's amazing then no imposition of sharia or other religious law on <laughs> u.s civil law so why a second ago you said that this is this this law they are trying to uh, approve is going to create a problem because a Christian law, Jewish law, Catholic law, as you said, Hindu law, Sikh law cannot be practiced. And now you are saying none of those even, anyway, have uh, such a practice. You see the hypocrisy? You see the deception and the lies? Two minutes ago you said, this is, will create a problem because nobody can practice any of those law. Let, let me go back to the, in the, in the video, please. Just to show you their deception. What should me unlock? On the bill this year are as follows. That first, this bill bans judicial consideration of any body of law from outside of the United States. That it will severely disrupt the use of various religious laws and foreign laws that are being used for legitimate purposes within the state of Missouri. He just said they don't exist, and now he's saying he's being, they are being used. Unbelievable. He just admitted they are not used anywhere. And now he is saying that they are being used everywhere. And that will cause a very bad harm to the, such a practice. When he just said after that, that there is no practice, no such a practice. People, let me give you an advice. If the Muslims, if the Muslims vote for angel of God, listen carefully. If angel of God, Muslims vote for him, it's me Muslims are choosing the wrong person for you American. Muslims, they will never wish you to have something good. And this is actually how I do vote. I look what the Muslims, for sure, I look at the person too. But if the Muslims are supporting him, it's mean there's, for sure, there's something wrong with the person. Muslims taking, if, if, if the Muslims ever took my side, let us say I want to go for election. As long as Obama is not born in USA, he became a, a president, I can do that. You know, I am American citizen. Uh, you know, I'm not born in USA. So what? He was born in Kenya. He was able to do it. We can do it. Some of the Muslim Brotherhood, they can bribe some uh, legislation and give them some money and they can get me in the position. Very easy. Hmm? It happened. It happened already. The guy, he don't even have a certificate. 
So, uh, if if the Muslims ever vote for me, don't ever support me, because those people will never vote for someone who would do good to America. This is why they vote for Obama. Obama who support abortion. Have you ever heard about Muslims supporting abortion since when? Ah, because Obama will kill American kids. He was not going to kill Muslim kids. It's not Muslims who would do abortion. It is those who uh, don't have religion. The atheists, you know, not the Christians. Uh, and uh, the infidels, anyway. This will harm America. Uh, Osama bin Laden to kill 3,000 uh, Americans. He, he caused a big war. So without killing anyone, by signature of our brother Obama, uh, the Muslim brother Obama, he signed a signature and he will allow the kill, the killing of thousands and thousands of Americans every month. So our kids, they will be flashed in the trial seat, legally, officially, and that will make Muslims happy. What? Wait, Muslims, they vote for Obama and he is the one who support gays and lesbians. Hmm. It doesn't make sense to me. Muslims, they kill gays and lesbians. Uh, by the way, are you going to practice this in Sharia law and Islam? Are you going to do that? Uh, actually, according to the Quran, by the way, Muhammad in the Hadith, he says, kill them. According to Quran, uh, if a woman, she is lesbian, a woman, she should be jailed until she die. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is in the Quran, I can show you. Chapter 14, verse number 15. Here we go. We click at Yusuf Ali. Hmm? It says that those of you, the women, who they are guilty uh, with, with such a behave, the women who they are lesbian, uh, you jail them until they die. I'm trying to make it bigger because, I mean, so you can read all the, the verse. Anyway, you can open the Quran with yourself. So, according to Islam, a woman, she is a lesbian. This is Quran, by the way, not Hadith. Hadith says kill them all. So, according to Islam, a woman, she is lesbian. We put them in their rooms and we jail them until the end of their life. If they are Muslim men and they are doing bang bang, uh -huh, what we do? We uh, insult them and beat them with sandals. Muslim women, they cannot repent. Muslim men, if they repent, we let them go. This is Quran, not Muhammad saying that. This is Quran, this is Allah himself saying. But Muslim women, if they are lesbian, we put them in jail until they die. So, you know, this the more disgusting, what is that? Where is the justice? How come the man, you beat them with sandals, and the women, you, you jail them until they die? Where is the justice? How come the women having sex with a woman, you treat her differently from a man having sex with a man? Why the man punishment is a lot less? Beating with sandals is not the same as jailing somebody for lifetime until they die. It's disgusting religion, man. So, Abdul, try to play a different game. And everybody, guys, support any law, fight Islam. It is the most disgusting religion. Thank you very much.